Making use of our sales data 2018 with pivots file, we can look at actually sorting the data within our pivot table. Now the data is sorted when you create a pivot table, it's sorted by the columns that you're grouping on. In the case here of pivot two that is grouped by country, you will see that the countries are in alphabetical order. However, that might not be the order you want things to be displayed in. You might like to have the data displayed in descending order of sales, so you can see the country at the top that you've sold the most to. Well, we can achieve that. To control or change the sorting, we go to this little drop down arrow here next to the country, click that, and in here we can see sort A to Z and sort Z to A. Now that will only sort the country, so it'll sort the country alphabetically ascending or alphabetically descending. What we do have though is more sort options. We go to more sort options in here. We can choose to leave things as the default, which is to manually drag items. So you can actually move things around manually, which can actually be quite useful if you want to bring an item to the top, not because of its value or its alphabetical order, but just to highlight it, you can actually grab it and move it. Let's see that in action. So if we click cancel, say I wanted to bring United Kingdom to the top, I would simply click here on United Kingdom, just go just above it until you get the four headed arrow there, click and drag, and you can actually move that data value to somewhere else in the list. And I've moved it to the top and everything else just moves down, staying in their current order. I haven't adjusted their order. I've just moved this one value. So you can manually drag them. If, however, you want to control them by their values, we go to more sort options again. We're not going with manual. We can choose ascending or descending. Choosing one of these options, and I'm going with descending, I can then choose from either the field we are grouping by, in this place, the country, so I could put them in descending alphabetical order of country, or more importantly, which is what I'm after here, the sales dollar, which is the data column, descending value of sales dollar. So I'm hoping the country that I've sold the most to will therefore be at the top. OK, and we see that it is. It was because I manually dragged United Kingdom, but then the others are in descending order as well. So they're now not in alphabetical order of country, but descending order of sales sold. So we have United Kingdom, England, United States, Ireland, Australia, etc., all the way to the lowest selling country, which is Bangladesh. Now we can do that on any pivot table. So we could go to pivot one, click in the little drop down, more sort options. If we went in here for descending, we've got a choice not just of the total sales, but all of the other data columns. Now, if I don't want them in country order, let's just move this across a little, I could choose to have them descending my total sales. So the country that sold the most will be at the top. And we know that is United Kingdom. Descending of average sales, so the country with the largest average sale will therefore be at the top. That could be quite useful. Highest sales, so the country with the highest single sale will be at the top, the highest value of that single sale or of total sales, so actually number of sales as opposed to the value of those sales. Well, let's go with that hash sales and say OK. We then see, well, United Kingdom is at the top again with 764 sales, followed by two lots of 10, 8, 5, and then a lot of 1s. If we went back into there, more sort options, and change that to be the average descending, then we'll find out which country has the highest average sale. OK. And in fact, it doesn't appear to be United Kingdom. So although they've sold a lot of sales and made a lot of individual sales, they've not been high earners. England, $16.49, has the highest average sale, followed not so far behind by Channel Islands and Spain and the United States. If you're completely in control with this sorting, more sort options from the drop-down allows you to then choose manually, ascending, descending, between the ascending and descending, you can then choose between any of the data values, if you've got more than one, as we have here, to either sort ascending by or descending by. Here we want to look at the best effectively, then we're going with descending, so we get the larger numbers near the top. Now, as well as being able to sort, what you will have noticed, the key eyed amongst you, in this little drop down, not only can I go through this sort option, I can actually remove some of the, in this case, countries from the list. So this is a little bit like the filtering at the level above the pivot table, where we place the filter above the pivot table. Here you can filter out individual countries from your pivot table if you should not wish to see them. That may be that I don't wish to see United Kingdom. I want to remove that from my list. Better choose England as well, so that I can see the data without these two large values. Okay, those two values are removed. 
And then I see Channel Islands has the highest average value, or I could even change that to total sales. And we find that United States then has the total sales because I've removed by filtering out United Kingdom and England. So we have that option to filter away individual countries in this case, and then sort by the country or any of the other data values we've been using within our pivot table.